So this question comes from William T. Is Geek Squad a good choice for computer repair? <laughs> no. No. Not no, but hell no. But I, I would say, I, I would start saying swear words, but I, I, I've, I've promised myself I would stop saying swear words. Um, no, stay, stay, stay away from Geek Squad. My personal opinion, my personal opinion would be to stay away from Geek Squad. I have heard way too many horror stories. And the thing is, I heard too many horror stories from my own clients. And I heard them after I told them to use Geek Squad sometimes. And so that's why I say stay away from Geek Squad. It's actually not the price. Again, I'm not one of these guys that starts screaming about price. People can, people can charge whatever they want as long as they actually do the job properly. And that's a problem I've seen with Geek Squad as many times it does not seem that they do the job properly. I ran into a lot of uh, problems with that uh, before when I had my consulting company. So the thing is with my consulting company, again, I believe in getting clients or I believe in getting clients, not customers. So it's not about you buying a product product for me today. It's about you buying something today and tomorrow and next year and the year after, so on and so forth. So it's like, I'm not, I'm not really worried about this particular hundred dollar sale. I want to get a thousand or two thousands dollar sales through, through the lifetime of our relationship. So to that end, a lot of times I would go out to clients, uh, homes or whatever. I would be working on their computers. And sometimes, you know, I'd be working on a computer and I'd look at it and be like, okay, well, it's a motherboard that's broken or it's a video card that's broken or whatever. Um, and I would say, uh, you know, this is the problem with it. Um, but this seems like a pretty new computer. How old is it? And I'd be told, you know, it's three, four, five months old. And I'd be like, I think this is under warranty. Now, I can fix this for you, but it's going to be about, it's a, it's a new motherboard. So it's going to be about $200 for the motherboard. Plus, it's going to be my labor cost. Uh, so you're looking about two, three, at that time, at that time, about a $300 repair. Uh, or you can take it to Best Buy and they should fix it for warranty nothing, right? Um, and so like I had one specific client, this is, this is, we were talking about that. So I went there, she actually had two computers to repair. One, uh, was this rather new one that she had a different one. So I was like, you know, I'm already here. So I'll, I'll fix, uh, this other computer that's, that, that isn't covered by warranty, but this one, there's no reason for me to bill you. You take that to Best Buy, they should fix it up. Oh my God. I ran into her later and she was like, I was so mad. You sent me to Best Buy. And I was like, what? What? I lost money in that. I could have made money on that. She said she took that. All it was was a motherboard repair. Really, the, the motherboard died. She took it a Best Buy. Took them a month and a half to fix this thing. And then even when they fixed it, they did this weird thing. She actually had to bring it back to me for me to do work because they ended up locking her out of her own profile. And that's what I saw time and time again with, with, with Geek Squad is that they just seem to do horrendous work. Like I, I would send clients there because I thought I was doing them um, a favor and end up, it would end up the clients would be pissed and the clients were like, I wish I could have just paid you two or $300 to fix it because it was such a monstrosity dealing with these people. So I would say generally, uh, generally stay away from Geek Squad. Um, I have seen nothing that is very good about them. Um, I actually had way back when um, I was offered a position for Geek Squad. Um, they had their their small, I don't know if they still have it anymore, they had a small business division. And so I, I don't know what the hell I was going to be. It wasn't an agent. It was whatever. Basically, I was going to be the main guy to, to deal with their small business division. So basically doing like the consulting. Basically what I did, only do that under the Geek Squad umbrella. And so I was sitting there and it sounded really good because it was like, okay, you're back under the, you know, you're back under the corporate umbrella. You, you make a decent amount of money. You get a free car. Uh, you get all these benefits and it, it seemed like a decent job. Um, and I was all excited about it. Did, 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 did all the stuff. I was on board. It was going to happen. Uh, and then I, I was talking with them a little bit more and then, um, I was asking them, I was like, okay, well, if, if I do accept this, um, how quickly would I start? And they said, oh, well, basically you can start tomorrow. You can, you can start as soon as we get the paperwork through. And I looked at that for a second, because especially with a position like this, you know, when you're dealing with small business environments and all that, it's a little weird to be truly hired that quickly. And I said, okay, well, why is that? And they said, well, the problem is, is we've sold all these contracts. We've sold all, these, all this work to small businesses, but we don't have anybody to provide it. <laughs> at which point I went, oh, yeah, that's nice. Uh, click. Because, again, this is, this is where... This is where you have to ask yourself, 
what kind of life do you want? What kind of job do you want? Because basically what they were telling me is they already had pissed off clients. Their salespeople had already gone out sold a crap ton of services to these small businesses, and they literally didn't have the technical people to support what they had sold. And this is what I was told. Any, any Best Buy Geek Squad people out there, this is, this is out of their mouth. Um, and, so, and so what I had to look at is I didn't want to go into that position. Why am I going to go into a position where I can already tell these clients are going to be pissed off to all nine hells, right? You know, if I pay somebody a lot of money for a service and I'm sold, I expect the service to be done. Not, not that the company I'm buying it from doesn't even have the ability to, 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 to do what they've been contracted to do. Uh, so yeah, no, all, all the way around, all the way around, I would, I would say stay, stay away from Geek Squad. Stay away from Geek Squad. Uh, it was one of the funny things because um, I was a consultant when Best Buy bought Geek Squad. So I remember uh, being with a couple of buddies who were also consultants, and we were all all talking about, you know, well, what's going to happen when, when Geek Squad came in? Because that was the thing. We were all making money, and everything was going great. But then it's like Best Buy buys Geek Squad. You know, there's a Best Buy every five minutes uh, in our area. So it was like, you know, what's going to happen? Are they just going to come in and we're going to get destroyed? And the ironic part, and this is what we were really worried about. We, we were scared. We were like, uh-oh, I guess our gravy train is over. Um, but the funny part was, is when Geek Squad came in, it actually was a lot better for us because Best Buy and Geek Squad started doing all of this advertising for computer repair and computer services and really getting it into people's heads that they needed to fix computers. But they did such an abhorrent job of fixing people's computers that once people realized that they needed their computers fixed, they then decided not to go to Geek Squad but would come to the independent vendors because they knew how bad Geek Squad was. So it was like one of those things where Geek Squad was advertising for for the pro, the what we, we what we had to offer but then didn't provide a good service, so everybody ran away from them. Um, and that was one of the, the true stories of the time, too. So yeah, no, I would... Like, there's, there, there are some companies, there are some vendors out there, it's like, well, like even Norton. Like, I am not a fan of Norton by any means, but I will tell you, there's reasons to use Norton, right? I'm not a huge fan, but, you know, in certain particular situations, I can see where Norton will get used. Geek Squad? No. <laughs> Stay that. No. No. There is no reason to use Geek Squad. Geek Squad is just Geek Squad. No, stay away from Geek Squad.